to uh, Tirana, Albania. We're into the clean and jerk section now. We've just had Elena Bernson of Sweden come out and lift uh, 87 kilograms successfully with uh, a power clean, no less. And, uh, coming out now, it'll be uh, Virginie Andrio of France. But, uh, there appears to have been a little bit of a weight change that's perhaps uh, grabbed uh, the loaders by surprise. So. Uh, they're going up to 90 kilograms. That's what's being loaded to the bar. She managed 75 in the snatch. So uh, a long way away from the likes of uh, Yulia Pratova of Ukraine, who won the snatch with 90 kilos. So already with a, a 15 kilo deficit. But uh, really, Andrio not going to be uh, looking for uh, a medal here in the combined. Not likely anyway. She carries forward two kilos on Bernson, the Swede from the snatch. Actually, took a very long time there indeed. Um, didn't uh, really have uh, struggled a bit with the leg strength just to stand up with that, didn't she? After the yeah. uh, the clean, so uh, she's been failed as well there. This is um, not great for a first attempt. Really, really tough on that clean. Trying to stand up, wasted a lot of energy. Really did take her time. That's a problem when you've got that kind of weight on your shoulders. Um, it's going to cut off the oxygen supply to the brain. And as you can see, they're not really getting herself underneath. So first attempt, no lift. She'll be back. Yeah, she took a very long time with the bar there. And uh, I guess when you're a top lifter, you really want to follow an ex almost an exact routine each time. But when things go wrong in the, uh, the clean phase, you really have no option but to slightly change your rhythm and uh, recompose. Yeah, standing up with a clean when it's that heavy, when it's that tough, and it's taking that much out of you, you do sometimes need to just take that extra breath. And, you know, she's got to set herself, be thinking then, you know, technically what she's got to do for the, for the jerk. Some lifters will come out and will just clean, stand for a split second, go straight into it. She obviously needed that bit longer to compose herself. You can see there, she looks, um, she looks quite upset, actually. Yeah. It's difficult at this level. When you train for so long mm. to, to now be under that kind of pressure, um, and she is, she's only got two minutes to recover as well. You can see she's blowing, she's out of breath. And she's following herself, so uh, she must go again here. And uh, having just seen stars on stage, I think uh, this will be a big ask here. The crowd getting behind her. Virginie Andrio of France, again going for 90 kilograms. Let's hope that first attempt didn't take too much out of her. That looks stronger. Much better. Relief, frustration, emotion, all in one. <laughs> and, and a lot of hard work, goodness me. Uh, well done. She's uh, got it, 90 kilograms. And uh, well, she'll automatically be put up to 91 kilograms, though. Uh, Perhaps the French coaches will uh, try and get uh, go from 92, 93 perhaps. That one went up uh, a lot easier than the first one. Now coming out for Sweden, it is Lena Bernson, who uh, hit 87 in her first lift, now going for 91. And uh, there's a nice little cat and mouse game here between uh, Andrio, the uh, French woman, and uh, Bernson, both of them, in fact, the oldest two in the category. Uh, Bounce on three kilos behind in the clean, going into the clean and jerk from the snatch. So uh, we'll gain back a kilo here on the French woman if she gets it.
Well, is she going to be allowed to continue? That was, I saw a technical infringement there. Let's see whether she gets it or not. A little bent arm perhaps as well. She's cheering, of course, which is a bit of gamesmanship. No, three red lights. Yeah, on the clean there, she, uh, as you see, uh, as she has done on the previous lift, attempted a split clean. That's fine, that's allowed. But here, she caught it quite low and then pushed it up onto uh, the top of her shoulders. That's not allowed. The bar has to go straight to the top of the shoulders. One continuous movement. Um, if the judges, though, had seen that as a technical infringement, they should have buzzed straight away, um, and she wouldn't have wasted the energy then on the on the jerk. So, not sure why she was allowed to continue, but hey, it's a no lift on a second attempt. Well, it was she definitely uh, it was definitely a bent arm, left arm as well. So, so perhaps they they, they were being kind on the first bit, but the, I mean, she she had really a couple of infringements there, didn't she? You could, if you missed one, you could you could have got her for the second. Yeah, I mean, um, I think, you know, that this is a technical problem. Trying to attempt a split clean on maximum weights is tough. It's the same with a power clean. If you're really trying to lift to the limit, you've got to be dropping into a full squat position. So just to clarify, there's three types of cleans you can do. A squat clean, which is what all the other lifters will do. Power clean, where the feet move out to the side, but you catch it above 90 degrees at knees. And a split clean, which is what she was attempting, feet forwards and backwards. Well, uh, let's not be too hard on Benson. She is, of course, uh, former Swedish 100-meter champion and uh, hurdles champion too, indoor 60-meter champion. In fact, she's just a phenomenal all-rounder. Uh, weightlifting is her uh, second love, as it were, the career she took up after she hurt herself in 2007. Now, uh, this young lady, very much her first career, just out of her teenage years, now the uh, French champion. Well, having experienced some, experienced some success in the snatch, coming away with a bronze medal, um, she's really trying to step up here. 92 kilos for her first lift, very solid. But you know what? She's going to have to lift out of her skin to stay with the medals in the clean and jerk. Yeah, it uh, wasn't what she'd posted. She was posting higher there and then uh, dropped down to 92. Um, that was well within herself, though. She looks very strong. A real talent for France here. And uh, 96 kilos is what she did at the French Championships. So they've got her a total, that's for sure. I don't think it'll be, uh, at the moment, one that would trouble the top three. But you never know. Benson coming out again. Of course, Benson had nowhere near the uh, snatch that uh, Lorenz had. Lorenz hit uh, 81. Let's remember that. Benson 73. So uh, just really in uh, a different league there. The Romanian just uh, having a little sniff of ammonia. Just uh, sends a sharp pain up the nose. Gets you fired up. You see in all kinds of sports, powerlifting and weightlifting in, in particular. Sports where you need that uh, one second of explosion. Really focus. Cox is ticking away here. 93 kilos for uh, Dana Berci, who's uh, coming out for her first attempt. She did 75 kilos in the snatch, which uh, saw her go into seventh position, failing her final two lifts. So she's hopefully got over the disappointment of that. The belt hanging out there, that's a... Surely she's going to put that a away. a mistake, isn't it? Goodness. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think the, the, the centre judge pointed at <laughs> her belt there. <laughs> Gave her a little help. Well, I'm not sure how well her warm-up's gone. She's moved her starting weight down from 95 to 93, so... Let's hope this isn't too much to ask. <laughs> Very strong clean. Ooh, wobbly overhead. That's her problem. That's what the uh, coach is worried about. So they lowered her starting weight, nailed her first attempt, which is so, so important. She's in the competition. Yeah, she uh, managed to uh, stop the uh, movement and got three white lights. So good effort, 93 kilograms. So she has a, a finishing total, that's for sure. And, of course, after failing two of her lifts in the snatch, the coach has thought, well, let's get her confidence up.
You know, she almost over jerked that, really drove it powerfully to arm's length. To a point where the elbows almost came out of lock, so um, she needs to be careful. Benson coming out for uh, her next lift. 93 kilos she's taken, so having missed 91, she's chosen to increase the weight regardless. You're allowed to do that? Yep, that uh, bought her more time as uh, other lifters have had to come out in this rising bar contest, but this will be really impressive if she gets it. It was better than the previous one, but still, the bar moved from low on the chest to her. She won't get that. <laughs> she almost pressed it up, <laughs> which was impressive strength-wise, but no, she knew that uh, it wasn't going to happen and dropped it. 87 kilos for Lena Bernson. And uh, she's mad at herself. Obviously, weight she's done in the gym leading into this. And uh, would you have given her the clean? No. <laughs> no is the answer. You certainly wouldn't give her the jerk. <laughs> so it's uh, Andreo of France coming out now for 94 kilograms. Failed her first one, if you remember. Uh, she almost uh, went a bit faint as she cleaned it. But really hit the groove in the second lift. Still, four kilos have increased. This is uh, a big jump up here. She didn't exactly dominate the second lift. Yeah, this is a big ask now. For the third and final attempt. I think she's going to really struggle with the clean. It's a good strong left. Can she set herself? Well, that's what she thought of it. <laughs> I think frustration's clear there. Clearly, yeah. I mean, she's got uh, Lorenz, the youngster, over 10 years younger, snapping at her heels. Well, not anymore. She's now past her. And uh, that was Andrio's attempt to. Uh, try and get one past the youngster go ahead in the clean and jerk phase but no 90 kilos that wasn't even close really no she needs to uh, move a lot further apart feet further forwards further back and actually get body weight underneath the bar well here is the future of france i'm afraid to say for uh, virginie andrio manon lorenz now this is a big weight for her 96 kilos four kilo uh, increase from her first attempt. This is really going to test her, but she's hungry for it. You can see she's she's trying to go all out here to stay with the Top Guns. Well, we still have four athletes to see <laughs> after Lorenz, Pratova, Cheremshinova, Koban, and uh, Ivanova. So uh, she needs a big weight here to uh, put the pressure on those to come. Fab, brilliant look at that that was a really tough clean but really stayed composed you can see a little bit wobbly walking off the platform that's going to take an awful lot out of her one attempt to come what How a fighter, fighter eh? oh, that's that, fantastic. Was, that was really a solid lift wasn't it very impressed with this uh, young lady so far who's uh, been battling through the snatch and now uh, nails yet another good clean and jerk to see what she'll go for next. I don't suppose there's more than a kilo or two there. Um, perhaps if she gets time. How much time will she get? Well, let's we'll see what the others are coming out for. Dana Berchi came out and hit 93 kilos. Very snappy lifter. Bar now is at 97 kilos. This is for, for Berchi's second attempt. This will not put her ahead of Lorenz of France, though. Again, there's that problem we talked about on her first attempt. Really flew up to arm's length, but body not in right position. Just couldn't steady it overhead. 
And she's walking forward, isn't she? She's just chucking up in front of herself a little bit. Perhaps not splitting enough here. Um, let's have a look. Clean was easy. Very, very strong. Great strength in her legs. Takes her time, sets herself. Just dips forward. That means the drive is then going to continue to go forwards. If you leave your body behind the bar, you're in big trouble. Yeah, perhaps uh, a power jerk instead of a spit jerk is uh, something she should be thinking about. Yeah, it could be uh, shoulder flexibility, you know. If she doesn't have that range of movement in the jerk position, maybe needs to work on that. But uh, we just saw Lorenz there back in the warm-up room. There she is, just taking her time, still panting from the last lift, which took an awful lot out of her. She's enjoying this moment right now where uh, Birchie, having failed her previous lift, um, looks like she's following herself. So this will slow the competition down, give her a chance to recover. You can see legs out straight, chance to get the blood flowing. Coach is trying to keep the back nice and loose. Yeah, perfect really for the French here. And uh, good to see uh, Lorenz get three out of three in the clean and jerk. So you manage three out of three in the snatch. 77, 80, 81. Very clever uh, increments there by the coaches. Now 92, 95, 96 rather. And, uh, She's going to be taking at least 98 for her final attempt because um, if she was taking 97, she would have been called already. Well, 97 is, you can see it up on the scoreboard. So uh, this is the same weight as we suspected for uh, Dana Berchi. She hit 93 in her opener. She certainly has the leg power. She's just got to find the groove here. She can do this for sure. Hi there. Again, very strong, dynamic clean. Oh, what a waste. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she had all the power and just not the belief. I cannot, I cannot understand. That, that was no better attempt than the second one. I mean, so, so strong, so powerful. If only she could nail that position overhead. So much more there. Clean, no problem. But then the jerk just didn't have the belief, I'm afraid. So we still have uh, four lifters to come out. But, uh, before we see them, it'll be uh, Manon Lorenz of France coming out for 99 kilograms. So uh, this very much a personal best for her. And boy, is she pumped. This would be six bien out bien of six. This would be bien massive bien. lifting from the young French champion. And because of the impressive snatch phase, where she finished third, this could be enough to get her into the medals in combined. Allez, allez, allez. This is unknown territory. I don't think she's ever nailed this weight before. Has she got the composure? Oh, fantastic. Look at that. 99 kilos. And you can see just how much that means to her. She has given herself the best possible chance now to stay with the medals. Yeah, bravo to the coaches. They just got that spot on. And uh, a new star in Manon Lorenz. You know, it's one thing doing it in the gym, isn't it? But performing on just about the biggest stage in the world at the European Championships. She's a competition lifter. She really rose to that. I doubt very much whether she's attempted that weight in the gym. I know when I was lifting, if I could get within five kilos of my best in the gym, then, then I'd be pleased. That was a personal best. You could see just how much that meant to her. Yeah, she was uh, wired up there, adrenaline going, and it worked for her. Pratova now coming out, coming no doubt for an early safe one by her standards. 90 kilograms in the snatch. This is only 10 kilograms more than she won the snatch with. And uh, if she gets this, of course, a total of 190 kilograms will put her well into the lead. 
and uh, the likes of Terem Shanova and Koban and Ivanova really will have their work cut out. Well, extremely strong in the clean phase. Now, didn't really steady herself after the clean. There was oscillation on the bar. That's not allowed. Question is, will the judges pick up on it? Quite a lot of lifters these days do get away with it, as she has done. Yeah, it's not always uh, picked up on, is it? And sometimes you feel people are done unfairly. Let's have a look here. She stands up, the bar goes up and down, flexing, and that just gives you a little flick as you jerk. And uh, you can really work it to your advantage. For sure she used it, didn't she? That was a good spot, but uh, the judges obviously felt that it wasn't uh, severe enough. I mean, you're gonna, it happens. You can't stop it oscillating. The oh, bar yes, is... you can. You can on that kind of weight. You can stop that bar oscillating. That is a technique. That is a skill in itself. But especially the super heavies, when it's really heavy, they get that That's wonderful bend, game, yeah. you know, that, um, yeah. At, uh, well, she, she was keeping that bar moving, which is... Um, sure, playing sure. the game. Ivanova now, 100. Good lift and uh, not really that different from the previous one, what we were just discussing there. Yeah. Again, keeping the oscillation just going. Just to her ticking favor. over a little bit, you know. <laughs> hey, if you can get away with it, then, um, then why not? But that's uh, 100 kilos. That now really puts her back in the running. Yes, indeed. And. Uh, that, that is higher. actually that is actually now one kilo ahead of Lorenzo of France, so that would put her ahead of the French girl. Um, so uh, Bulgaria take the lead. I was going to say, yeah, they both did 81 kilos in the snatch, so and Ivanova looks comfortable for more. Now this is Turkey's uh, Isigal Koban, and the contest is starting to heat up here. This is uh, her opener. Yeah, this now will put her ahead of uh, Ivanova by virtue of lighter body weight. This will increase her total very slow on the clean that looked tough wow powerful jerk yeah wasn't it just goodness pop that overhead a lot easier than I expected it would so uh, she gets uh, 101 for a total of 181 which uh, equals uh, Ivanova and uh, how are they doing on body weight yeah, we've got four lifters here in the running at the moment. Par Paratova has uh, uh, a definite lead. The question is, can she hang on to that lead? Uh, it appears that Shera Shimova of Russia is really stretching her starting weight now to try and close that gap, yeah. which makes for a really exciting finish to this competition. Yeah, Koban is uh, lighter on body weight to uh, Ivanova. So, uh, but we still have plenty of lifts still to come. I wonder what Paratova will be uh, hitting when she finally really goes for it. Now she's, uh, well, she hasn't won the contest yet, but she's not far away. She's got one hand on the gold with that total of uh, 190. Now, that uh, is the Russian lifter, the former uh, Kazakh lifter coming up now, Svetlana Teremshinova, who uh, is a very experienced competitor, but really was disappointing in the snatch, hitting... Uh, just 82 kilograms when you consider at the world championships in 2009 she took uh, bronze with 92 kilos definitely let herself down a bit there well this lift will close the gap on parapetova by three kilos bringing the deficit to just five <laughs> And that's a strong first attempt. Yeah, I'd, I'd go as far as to say pretty easy, really. 103 kilograms. And uh, there's five or six more kilos there, at least, I think, if she really gets into the groove. I think this competition is going to be won by the most consistent lifter. Who can nail all three attempts? Who can handle the pressure, which is, I guess, what it always comes down to. And uh, weightlifting, there's very fine margins. You really have to be able to focus all your energy into that split second. Coming out now at 1.03 is uh, Ivanova, the Bulgarian. Remember her snatch, 81 kilograms, takes her to 1.84. Sure. Would still be below Teremshinova. Let's go! 
Platite! Platite, ne brzej! Ne brzej, kva si ne zna? Možno! I'm afraid my Bulgarian's not great, but I think the coach is uh, shouting some words of encouragement there. <laughs> That's a solid uh, second attempt, and you know what, there's two competitions going on here, one for gold and silver, and one for the bronze medal. The bronze is uh, going to be very closely fought here between uh, Ivanova of Bulgaria, who we've just seen, who has now just put herself into bronze medal position. She is now two kilos ahead of Koban of Turkey, who still has two lifts to come. Yeah, and, and of course she's—I mean, she's only uh, a little way behind uh, Teremshinova as well. I mean, it's possible if she hits a big final lift, she could uh, jump ahead of the Russian. Now, this lady is uh, absolutely the leader after the snatch, and if she does this, really will put out of sight any chance of anyone else taking the combined gold. Going for 104 kilograms, Yulia Pratova. And we'll add that to 90 kilos with her snatch. Take her up to 194 and just out of sight of anybody else. It would uh, need a world record from someone else to, uh, to trouble her for the combined. A little smile across your face there, McKenna. Did you did he, no, oh, I was you waiting for the referee's <laughs> decision there, and you can see she got it two to one. I would have, uh, well, I was questioning the right arm there, some flexion in the right elbow. That's irrelevant, what I think. She got it two to one. She's um, really, really put herself out there now um, in the lead. So, Coban coming out for uh, 104. That's what's posted anyway, which would combine with 80 kilograms in the snatch. Take her up to 184 and uh, put her into third position. So, massive lift here for her. She needs this to go in to the bronze medal. She's by far the strongest jerker in this competition. Her strength is in the legs. That might be down to age. Um, quite a young lifter, so you know that takes time to develop over the years. I'm sure that we're going to see so much more of her in the future as well. Yep, and she's got one lift still to come. So. Uh, I mean, she just barely pulled that much above her uh, her waist there. Gone under it so quick. That's just so dynamic. And that's when you see weightlifting at its best. But how about that? Stacks of power there. Absolutely. And she is the youngest competitor in this competition today. So, you know, big future ahead of her. You see there Ivanova. Yep. Ivanova there in the warm-up room just composing herself. She's back now into fourth place, so the pressure is on. Yeah, Ivanova has just one lift to come, and uh, very much under pressure here. Coburn needs to lift one kilo more than Ivanova, so she's in that position at the moment. She'll just sit and wait now, wait to see what Ivanova does or doesn't do. And we're locked for one kilo more. Well, Ivanova is one of the lifters that has really cut weight to get down to this category. Going for 105. Will that play at the very end of the competition here? She has looked a, a little bit fatigued, but she's nailed her lifts. Really needs this one now. And she's got it. Can she stand still? Stays on the platform. Gave it everything. Bravo, really magnificent. Sticking with it. Just a little wobble there when you're fatigued and it could have gone. 105. And uh, combine that with her uh, 81. Gives her 196. 186 even. <laughs> and... Uh, up into the medals. Well, 
Icicle Coban. This uh, youngster Each going for 105 now. And uh, this will take her back into the bronze medal position. Yeah. This is it. Last play for her. 106 she needs. Oh, right. Yeah, they've called for it. What are the weight? The weight difference must be... Uh, 105 will not take the bronze medal. She needs 106. Yeah, the uh, coach yeah. has noticed that at the last minute there and have demanded the weight go up to 106. Koban, 52-13. Uh, Ivanova, 52-94. So, uh, what's going on here? It's I'm still 105 I'll on tell the you bar. what it is. It's because she's going for uh, Terem Shanova, perhaps, who's only at 185 combined total. This will take her up to 187 into the silver medal position. So, uh, oh, and in fact, it's Terem Shanova who's come out now. So, uh, this is to keep her in the silver medal position. Stand away from Koban. <laughs> Well, that's a very solid lift. This really is. I'm just trying to look at all the body weights and work out who's where at the moment. That's uh, Shara Shimova comfortably in silver... Well, I say comfortably in silver medal position. Um, Coburn needs... Well, let me see. Two... Two kill. <laughs> Coburn's got a very difficult decision to make here. Does she go for the bronze? Does she go for the silver? The sensible decision would be... Um, for silver. Going for what? Well, according to this, this computer system, it's saying going for 105 kilograms, which will put her into fourth. 105 and is not enough. That's uh, well, according to my body weight, she is actually lighter than Ivanova, and that's she's incorrect. a kilo down. She's a kilo down on the. She needs on the to go 106. She needs. She needs 186. But the coach has uh, pulled the wrong weight. She needs another kilo. Goodness me. Well, let's just watch this lift here. Perhaps the scoring system is wrong. She's got that. Let's have a look here. She thinks she's got something anyway. And uh, what is it? That's the That's question. 105. It's 105. It ranks her into fourth. That's they've gone up a kilo and missed a medal. I just, I'm just wondering if they're celebrating too early here, thinking they've nailed a medal. Well, they've, they've drastically miscalculated because Maya Ivanova is on 186 total. That extra kilo puts Koban on 185. Sarem is on 187. And the Paratova, uh, oh, sorry, Paratova is so far ahead. And here she comes. This is really just for fun now. And, of course, going for the clean and jerk gold as well. But she's uh, got the combined wrapped up. for a sweep of the goals. Just recomposing that buzzer's 30 seconds left. Oh, oh, legs buckled on that dip. And I'll tell you what, we were talking about the oscillation on the bar. It's a prime example. If you mistime it, you're going to have all kinds of issues. Also, she's struggling there with... Uh, being a bit lightheaded, a bit dizzy, bars on the windpipe for a bit too long. Mm, but she'll be okay. Look, let's have a look at that again. The oscillation at the top there. That's an interesting point. If you mistime it, it's going to go against you, isn't it, and drive you? So as Ooh. she tried to drive up, the bars just whipping down. Bar won't go anywhere when you do it like that. Mm, it's, it's very fine timing, isn't it? It's. Oh, I spent I spent uh, a while trying trying it out and. Uh, <laughs> It's a technique in itself, and I never mastered it. But you're well, not allowed to do it, so... Yeah, indeed, indeed. You were just trying it for fun, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Yulia Paratova is our, absolutely going to be our gold medalist overall combined, so congratulations to her, even if she did miss that final lift in the clean and jerk. But we are uh, now just... Uh, I think uh, Cherishimova needs uh, 114 yeah. if she's going to have a chance at taking the gold off her. Oh, Will she even come out with her third and final attempt? Yeah, I'm not sure she is coming out. Uh, discussion all round. She's got 187 kilo combined. She's got 106 in the clean and jerk, which uh, gives her uh, the top she's, lift in clean and she's jerk. She's come out for 106, 7 seconds, 6, 5, 4, 3. She's got to go quick. So this is for a gold on the clean and jerk. Yes, 105. Can she stand still? I think she's got it. Goodness she's me. She's nailed that. <laughs> Lastminute.com. Uh, the confusion in the back there. Uh, 
Tremshin over then is, well, we knew she'd be combined second, but uh, that gives her the uh, highest clean and jerk. Yeah, she's got a gold medal there on the clean and jerk, but uh, only enough for silver overall. Yeah, not a bad day's work, though, combined with uh, the silver in the snatch. And uh, so uh, she takes, uh, we'll get the results hopefully coming up here just to confirm everything. And uh, the Turks, well, they were screaming and shouting. And they uh, actually, looking at the scores, Koban has beaten Paratova in uh, the clean and jerk, 105 kilograms. So actually she will get a... Uh, consolation medal she'll there. She'll get a consolation medal indeed, yeah, because of body weight. She'll get a silver medal. I mean, that's a pretty good consolation. I know the combined, of course, to uh, uh, weightlifting purists is very much what it's all about. But still, it's, uh, it's uh, not a bad thing to go home and say, I, I took a silver medal in the clean and jerk. Yeah, sure. I think, um, you know, she must have been there way above her personal best. That must be the reason why. Well, here we are, results for the clean and jerk. Uh, Tremshin over, 106, three out of three. Koban's three out of three, 105. Ivanova, again, great lifting all round, hits 105 due to lighter body weight, though. Uh, she uh, goes uh, up Koban, Icicle Koban of Turkey, into the silver. And uh, those are, uh, I think, tears of joy, surely. All right, Paratova did not get a medal. She finished fourth in the clean and jerk, but here she is in the overall. The gold medalist, 9104, a total of 194 to beat the Russian and the Bulgarian into second and third. Well, further on down the order there, you uh, saw uh, the likes of the Swede just uh, barely beating the B group lifters. Well, 